in a crisis I believe that all of your dreams are direction You took my heart, all my keys, and my passion you What it do, printer paper? <laughs> This is getting ridiculous at this point. But y'all like it, so we gonna continue to grow with it. So, you know, I already did my video on Martel going on IG Live, calling himself dogging and exposing Melody. And I told you all in that video that Melody clapped back at him with a lot of things to say and then he responded well that is this video. If you have not seen that video before you watch this one, Head over to that video and watch that before you watch this because it is a mess. Let's get into the tea, honey, because Melody Cherie uh, Holt had time today. She had time, honey, for Mr. Bitch Tail. So this is what sis had to say. What's so crazy is this is the same person who destroyed his family and lost it all but still thinks somebody owes you yes i sure did spray the judge threw nothing out about no seventeen thousand. shaking my head this man is delusional but baby start a battle i'll win the war ha <laughs> ha Man, I can count too that he's treated terrible and ain't made them a priority. We ain't covering in 2022 nor 2023. Lose friends, LOL, nah. You need to people even when they show their colors, I walk away. There's a difference to stop that narrative. And I will say that very much like once she saw that Letitia and Marceau and them was fake, she stopped fooling with them. Whereas Martel need these people because he ain't got shit. So he tries to latch on to anybody that got something going for themselves so he can eat off them because he's too lazy and too dumb to do anything for himself. Then Melody said, man, shut up. My kids are with me most of the time. I have them. Somebody go get this mental case some help for real, for real. Girl. <laughs> that nigga need electroshock therapy he's so fucked up in the head then she said i really have sat back and not said too much only when i didn't want y'all feeling like things were over when they weren't but i really really been showing a whole lot of grace but I'm going to let God do the grace. I know that's right. I know that's right, child. Because sometimes you got to step on a motherfucking neck. I know a lot of times, you know, I always tell y'all, let God handle your, your light work. But sometimes God be taking too slow. <laughs> God be taking too long. And you got to check a bitch on your own. Because God didn't ever say, don't be no punk. God didn't ever say, let a motherfucker punk you. God said, stick up for yourself, okay? So sometimes you got to hit a motherfucker where it hurt real quick and then let God handle the rest. And that's what you got to do with a motherfucker like this because Martel is like a goddamn roach that won't die. So Melody then said, who was watching the kids when you was out? You know what? <clears throat> Never mind. I know that's right because, I mean... You act like you was just father of the year, but yet and still you had time enough to have a whole side chick get her pregnant multiple times and was fucking other hoes and supposedly holding down the house, uh, running the businesses according to you. But it's mighty funny that as soon as Mel left your ass, you ain't got no business. You can't barely pay for shit. Make it make sense. Okay. So then she said, ain't this the same person who's such a great friend but blasted so much about those friends when they weren't bothering him? Oh, okay. She's talking about Marceau and them. And then she said, the judge ordered therapy and that was back in March. You ain't did not one session shaking my damn head. Your priority ain't the kids and their well-being. Your priority is what it has been since the marriage. A uh hoe. <laughs> Ain't that the guy's honest truth? I mean, but like, none of this needs to be said, Mel, because we already the fuck know. I've been new since season one. This nigga wasn't shit, and I've been talking to you through the television. I know Mel watches my reviews. You know, I have a great relationship with her mother, Miss Vanessa. And it's just like, we already know he's shown himself. Nobody believes nothing that comes out of this buffoon's mouth. You can't trust no nigga that can't afford a nice pair of sneakers. <laughs> ha! 
while he was on that damn live and he is talking about some he don't believe in material things use a motherfucking lie you can't afford material things no more sir because if you didn't believe in material things you wouldn't be out here with your Django unchained goddamn me suits and shit on that you be trying to uh wear you wouldn't be out here flossing with a fucking squirrel on your shoulder <laughs> for your little incest wine launching girl please you do care about material things your broke ass just can't afford material things anymore talking about you bought a pair of Jordans because you couldn't find nothing else and you told your son you was gonna donate them nigga please you somebody need to be donating to you use a lie child please then Mel said the same person who slipped up the last week of filming and said you saw text messages about my brother possibly having COVID and I hadn't even been around you so my question on camera was how you see my text messages and I ain't even been around you in two years like that and that's why I keep changing my number ladies these men be out here tracking and recording and I promise I figured it out child and i believe everything she say because this nigga trying to figure out how is this girl over here still being blessed and living her life and getting the coin and i'm over here struggling because god don't bless no mess you devil then melody said and if you such that guy and have all these friends who just love you so much then why the hell were your utilities being turned off I know what's really up. And as my great grandmother used to say, sometimes you got to cut a snake off by the head. I, girl, we don't need to know this, Mel. We already figured it out. The nigga ain't got a pot to piss in. A pot to piss in. Or a window to throw it out of. We all know this nigga's over there struggling. He, We all know the, the lights is not on over there. That's why he over there trying to mooch off charade and have fake storylines and shit and Girl, we already know. We already the fuck know. We already know based off the fact that his other baby mama sitting over there looking like she just collecting a, a welfare check and just on live all day with her hair all over her head. The baby ain't never dressed crusty by the face. We already know. Ain't no money coming over there. <laughs> Only thing he pay her is with dick and with eating her ass. And that seems to be enough for her. Girl, we already know. Then she said, dang, man, I hate when I have to blast and speak facts on jokers. Dang on it. What I'm going to say is this. I sit back and really try not to have to go to war however I can. So my YouTubers and bloggers, I'm having an in-person event to show some facts. DM me if you want to be one of the five to fly in because I really really been holding back but if i'm gonna decide to take you out i'm taking you all the way out let me throw my uh hat in the ring child let me inbox melody girl let me inbox her real quick so let me tell miss vanessa i i want in i want to come hold on let me inbox her while i'm doing this right now hey mel i saw your post I would love to participate in your meet up. Hope you consider me. Have a blessed day. Boop. Okay. Did that. <laughs> yeah. Um, then she said this is going to be the good and then y'all get ready one thing i will go ahead and say is the judge ordered pull the records to return the 17k back to the account by a friday he failed to do so and the judge ordered mediation my attorney begged me not to let the 17k go but i was just ready to be divorced so i said forget it my manager literally said don't worry because you'll make it back god has you ill y'all gonna enjoy this event because i have all the proof and facts i want to see it i want to see it i want to see it she then said your uncles can watch the kids but my brother can't 
ain't no not seeing for the forest for the trees over here man this joker been so homophobic for the longest and i ain't said nothing but about it nada but i promise the messages i have ain't gonna lie this is gonna be the event of the year hashtag gay basher hashtag been hating on the lgbt community girl we, we i mean he already blatantly said it on the show that he is homophobic and i think the nigga homophobic for a reason <laughs> catch um but girl girl fuck martell fuck him fuck him and the short bus he rolled in on but i do want to be at the event i do want to be there so then she said never lost friends found myself though accepted revelations and moved on you should try it hashtag get real with yourself hashtag sit your ass down and heal <laughs> oh ain't that a motherfucking word but girl that boy ain't gonna never heal shit he ain't gonna heal shit it is too late for that nigga too motherfucking late too late i hate that you stayed with him so long i really honestly did i do uh because ain't no way in hell you was gonna be able to be gay bashing my motherfucking brother and think that me and you gonna be laying up together that just wasn't gonna happen over here we all know that my brother is gay and ain't no motherfucking way ain't nobody on god's green earth gonna be able to say shit to me about my motherfucking brother and think it's gonna be sweet between me and you because first of all i'm gonna cuss you out even before he get to your ass so <laughs> <laughs> and why you so worried about my brother you do you, you got a thing for him i mean what what's what's gucci <laughs> let me know <laughs> so then she said ask me okay a cheater a manipulator liar narcissist criminal hashtag next question please then she said have all the smoke for me all the time but none for you know what never mind y'all should ask why that is all right girl we all know because that bitch got tea on him she probably got some videos or footage or pictures of him probably eating some man booty <laughs> you know i like that booty 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 allegedly child who knows the, all the dirt she got on martel because he is scared of her he won't say shit about miss ariane curry goat because she got all the tea on his trifling ass and his ass don't want to be exposed but we already know sis we already know so then she says and talking about some numbers using the same method you using and calling babysitting which ain't it hell you at 19 shaking my damn head these miserable bitter narcissists ain't no joke shaking my head i don't really know what that means but okay then she said set my kids down and had them give you names of anybody family or not who has watched them for any time even if i went down the road to the store and gave peach cobbler to whoever told the most not this man bribing the kids with food for information child get out of here he she said a scoop of ice cream was for the second most popsicle for who told the least shame that's why i ain't settling or mediating shit about this period something's missing in the head girl been missing in the head i don't know if mama dropped that nigga when he was a baby but that nigga ain't been right like who does that like he is literally obsessed with this girl he is obsessed with her because he talked all that bullshit when they was together about how he was the brains and he did this and he put her on and he was the businessman and all of that got proven to be a lie when she divorced him and he came out of it with nothing because everything was under her name and she was the one that did everything and i'm looking at him and Marceau real funny and crazy because y'all talk all this shit do all this dirt treat y'all wives like shit and getting still ain't nothing in y'all name <laughs> like you would think you would not bite the hand that feeds you but you niggas is so fucking cocky that you literally just are dumb like what in the hell is wrong with you niggas like what so then melody said and now i'm done for the day it's fun time with the kiddos because her and the kids was on vacation but then she came back and she said one more thing who finna have four kids with a bad parent shaking my head exactly y'all ain't hear me say nothing but positive about this man when it came to parenting and until the divorce it was true but since the divorce the veil has been removed and it's a lot that ain't okay 
It's a lot of hurt and bitterness being taken out on my kids and I see it and my kids feel it. Now keep bringing your ass to social media and I'm going to keep tearing your ass up from this day forward. Girl, God and life is already tearing him up. You ain't even got to do nothing, girl. Look at him. The man is out here wearing size medium clothes over here killing himself. <laughs> The nigga is literally committing suicide with the clothes that he wear because he going to bust a vein one day wearing these tight ass with bitty clothes. Then Melody said, revenge porn. Really? I pay attention to promises, not threats. I had four kids some kind of way with you. Hashtag whack. Now, I don't know what this is about. So is he saying that he got some revenge porn on her? What is happening here? What in the hell? Like, you, boy, now I hope that he ain't going there. Like, you can go to jail for that. You better listen to Rob. We'll see what happened to Rob Kardashian. He had to pay Black China millions, honey. Then Melody said, hashtag typical. And for the one saying, I ain't never been quiet ever. <laughs> you about to see how quiet I've actually been. And I'm here to say that she has honestly been very quiet very very quiet y'all know when i tell y'all stuff that i'm telling y'all in fact she has been very very quiet on a lot of shit so melody says attorney on 24 7 speed dial in five four three two one then she said if friends in your inner circle is sitting in front of me smiling in my face eating at my table vacationing with me while paying for car repairs and Valentine's Day flowers for and hanging with my then husband and one of his side chicks multiple times, then I don't need it. You think we forgot? I sure didn't. You should have set this one out. Sit all the way down, sir, because the way the Scorpio is out right now, tuh! Now, that was towards Marceau because I guess Marceau decided to take his ass to social media and give his two cents. And basically let me reread that eating at my table vacation with me while paying for car repairs and valentine's day flowers for and hanging with my then husband and one of his side chicks multiple times and i don't need it so is she saying that marceau was cheating too and paying for car repairs for somebody car and valentine's day flowers i think that's what she's saying i think that's what we're alluding to here Anywho, <clears throat> Mel then said, I mean, if all the years you were in the inner circle didn't help, well, because ain't no way I'm kicking it with my married friend's side nor woman. Nope. And I called the wife and the kids family too. Nah, y'all big fake. And people be wondering why I removed myself. I mean, I mean, that's just common sense because that's just fucked up you know my nigga cheating on me we family friends you know we friends and shit we vacationing with each other we spending time with each other and you and your wife know my nigga out here cheating and don't nobody say shit to me yeah fuck y'all fuck y'all for life um so then Mel said, Mel said, in case y'all wonder what I'm talking about thanks for sending me this and she screenshot Marceau in the comment section um or either he posted this caption that said this is what happens when your hash i mean uh quotation friends aren't in your inner circle and sit down somewhere grinch that stole christmas you got your own shit to be worried about over there sir have several and so mel then said i said it yesterday i'm gonna say it again keep going to social media and i'm gonna get that ass every single time no matter the day of the week so let's get into it First off, quit getting all your females to type up your horrible ass posts. Everybody with the least amount of sense can tell these are female vibe posts. You accidentally even screenshotted the text in blue not too long ago. Hey, well, I, I, I talked about that one. <laughs> it was obvious, child. It was obvious. And I mean, whether it's a woman that wrote it or not, Martell talk like a bitch anyway so it don't even matter if a woman wrote it that's just him period so then Mel said hell I remember how you used to want me to type up stuff for you all the time and I had to tell you eventually I ain't your secretary I mean we all know this nigga got a third grade education that nigga is not smart he probably don't even know how to spell four letter words then Mel said Washington DC man 
Maybe you forgot the only person in Washington, D.C. has been you. Maybe you forgot about the dance instructor who exposed you sometime last year, sending her thousands of dollars at a time. You even posted when you were in D.C. And then she hit me up because you played her and she was a upset and felt taken advantage of i'm gonna save the evidence for my event though because it's special <laughs> i know he wish he saved him thousands of dollars now child because he needs the money so the ml said every ever notice how when men get caught up and you leave all of a sudden you a hoe but just four to five weeks ago begging me to take you back Mel you know we soulmates I told you then and I meant every word it's a hell no for me and God bless you on your journey girl we all know that you ain't no motherfucking hoe and even if you was so he been a hoe so let me match your hoeism nigga let me be out here too <laughs> let me get my body so why you all up on my body sir mind your business but we already know what it is he can't say shit else Mel continued on by saying one minute you on a panel talking about you ain't air my ish out like you were protecting me. Now you're admitting to if I had have known then before a TV deal. If double minded was a person, it'd be your face right beside it. I've said it and I'll say it again. December 2017, I left your ass. Yup. Got an apartment and was speaking with an attorney in Huntsville about divorce. Yep. Met someone during that time, but we never had intercourse. Yep. And as far as fellatio, I understand you mad, but I just ain't never seen a dude worried about something that ain't even his no more. I would be careful of the lies and assumptions you type online, mister, because woo, you making this easy. Yeah, he do need to be careful with that because she can sue him for defamation of character. Then she said, I had my daughter in December 2019. I'm not even leaving the house because I have a newborn. And then there's a pandemic that hits. Everybody scared for their lives, not knowing what this is. Well, except you. So I'm in the house, but I found the courage to go out the house and get pregnant by somebody. I understand the projection from a narcissist, though, because that's exactly what you did yikes so he trying to say the sugar mama now he is now but you the same person that goes off on miss wanda for saying that boy get out of her get out of her like i hope he understand like all this shit your kids are uh, first of all the oldest ones are reading and seeing this shit they know what the fuck is going on and sugar mama gonna grow up one day to see these things and read these things that he is saying and about her their mother their marriage her family like who child he is just digging a grave for himself so and it's sad because i feel like these kids gonna grow up and not have a relationship with him like he don't have a relationship with his daddy but it's all his doing oh lord so then mel said then gonna drop that damn unpermitted recording to a blogger trying to make the world think that when i said 2017 that you found out in 2017 we weren't together but i get that you think people always belong to you wanting the world to think that you had some deep secret or some shit nah we had that conversation in 2020 because you asked a question and i gave you the answer y'all better start doing a better job and ask for proof from these folks make them show you those back end dates on those pics and recordings then she said i've literally sat back and watched you make a a whole tour of the city trying to dog and come for me and turn people against me and i just step back and let you have them but the real ones ain't blinded by your manipulation and one thing about my kids they are highly intelligent and they ain't about to lie you are exactly what i said you are i ain't got a coach i ain't gotta do nothing i ain't got and ain't going to because i actually care about my karma boo and hell yeah i ask people why they trust their spouses around you one you was just with is giving his wife hell and now they going through a divorce then you sending all the other pics of women from damn exotic women's sites knowing they are married but smiling in their wives faces don't worry bloggers i'm gonna let y'all see it baby oh girl please include me in on this so this man is over here sending sexy women pictures to marry men and trying to entice them to cheat girl <laughs> throw this whole nigga away 
Then Mel said, didn't I tell y'all this is going to be the event of the year? Make it the event of the century. Then she posted when your friends DMing you because they over the lies too, shaking my head. So she screenshotted one of her friends DMing her saying, you ain't never been nobody. Ho. I remember seeing Chatter online like she probably got her a side nigga too um, and having to shut that down quickly. Then Mel said, and you're right, what they see on TV ain't the real. You, the one in real life, is worse. And so many people have witnessed your terrible behavior. I really don't even know why you still on OWN's payroll. I literally had to stop filming behind every man. Fall 2020, Ben left you because you came to my set, started shit, got in the faces of people that are working with me, pushed one of them all recorded and on video, shaking my head with several people witnessing it. And I ain't said shit about it. I had to walk outside, cry and all, then go back in and kill the job still. That's unfortunate. Like, no, he didn't try to come ruin her shit and ruining opportunities for her when she the one over there taking care of y'all kids emotionally, financially, spiritually, physically, and all those things. Like, it's going to get to a point where she's going to have to get a restraining order against him. Like, real talk. Like, you can be around the kids, but you can't be around me, period. Like, and I told y'all that it was, and I even said it to Mel through the screen, said it to Miss Vanessa that it was a horrible idea for her to even agree to film with him again because I knew that nothing about that nigga had changed. He's an opportunist. He is a fucking opportunist, and he going to try to leech on anybody that he can. So Melody was like, every single thing I say, I can prove and I will prove. That's the difference. I ain't got to lie. And man, if you don't stop with this, she was messing with our attorney shit. You've been saying it for years. Prove it. Your little flirty text message you got from going in my phone and taking a pic of it. Crazy. I don't care about that, my boy. I was done with you and I can do some over the phone flirting if I want to with who I want to. Period. You had a whole chick pregnant at that time, mad because you ain't have me. I know, baby. <laughs> then Mel said, and for everybody asking, I promise I'm still smiling. I'm still good. I still feel amazing. God is still amazing, et cetera, et cetera. And then she said, Mary, question mark. What? Who? This tells me that's what you've been doing, always projecting. Man, these lies are funny because I promise I'm going to hold on to them. Five, four, three, two, one. And yet again, has anyone asked yet why there's all this smoke for me, but none for, cause woo, it's been so much said from that end. That's just explicit as hell. I'm sorry. She said that's just explicit as all get out. And all I heard was crickets. If this ain't misery, child, I mean, girl, she can get online and call Martell all types of gay and broke and she ain't, he ain't shit. And he don't say nothing to her because she got dirt on him to last years, probably. Then Mel says, um, wait a minute. These ain't no mutual friends, boo. These your people. And if they said it, they lying. Where's the proof with dates on it for accuracy? Not lies. Y'all done came together to make up my boy and let me be clear anybody i talked to when i left you because you was a hoe i don't care get that through your tiny brain and you throwing out names didn't you text this same name to your friend's wife when trying to expose him now you naming her and her mama as witnesses for you y'all crazy as hell and that's why i stay away get some character about yourself and i damn sure ain't worried about nobody you naming to speak on your behalf who i helped doing their situation boy bye the biggest lie of it all talking about you only been intimate with one person since we divorced well girl <laughs> man ain't no way i'd be okay with some new dude i am just starting today making me a part of his illegal slash custody battle quit trying to pit women against women it's a name for men like you so i guess she must be talking about sheree but like i said i think sheree is just in this for a storyline um they either in on it together she using him he using her and they don't know they using each other because I, I just refuse to believe that Sheree is dumb enough to really get romantically involved with Martell Hope. I just refuse to believe that at all. It's the most ridiculous shit I've ever seen in my fucking life. Then 
um Mel uh said, Man, y'all funny. She screenshotted something that one of her followers um uh, commented and said and was on said panel calling you his 85 percent and coleslaw 15 percent a true liar and mel responded yep lol which one sir exactly like one minute she a hoe she a bad mama but then the next minute she's a great mother he made the biggest mistake of his life girl we all know that this nigga talk out the side of his booty hoe <laughs> so you know Martel couldn't leave good enough alone. He had to clap back and say something. So here's what sis had to say. He said, who was watching the kids when you got pregnant twice and had two, I guess he was talking about miscarriages. Who was watching the kids when you were performing fellatio and fucking six to seven years ago and go on the reunion and say, I can't remember. Well, first of all, you should have been watching the kids while she was pregnant. <laughs> like what? And you should have been watching the kids while she had two, you know, abortions. Like, what the fuck? They was with your kids. What the fuck is you trying to say? Because we all know that your ass wouldn't have stayed with her if she got pregnant by another nigga. So get the fuck out of here. You sound dumb. Then he says, who was watching the kids when you were taking the flights to D.C. with the same nigga, then come back to me being a being a, a pro-ho? Oh, okay, never heard of that. Uh, we were done then if I had known all that you did before we even struck a TV deal. Then gonna take my infidelity to TV for a freaking storyline. Stupid, played me, but don't mention nothing too low down, dirty ass did. Okay, so... A lot of the stuff that I already read y'all was Melody responding to him. They've been going back and forth with each other on Instagram story. I'm like, can y'all just please pick up a phone and curse each other out over the phone? Like, this is ridiculous. But it's going to make me some money, so I'm here for it. <laughs> so he then says, now you got the entire country looking at me like it was all me when you played an even bigger part. I'm not done. Who was watching the kids when you were with our attorney? Who was watching the kids when you were sleeping with my frat? Who was watching the kids when you were sleeping with someone I knew personally all while married? I'm a hoe because I was sleeping with one person. Nope. You are for having a roster. Your list runneth over. Well, seems to me like if she was fucking your frat, y'all attorney, that she was fucking up, <laughs> not down, and she was having a good old time. That sound like fun to me. <laughs> so Martel then says, how I found out about the 24 babysitters. My parenting would never allow me to bribe my kids. Lies. I'm their father, not a cop. I don't play that crap. My kids are kids around me. If I ask a question, they're going to answer. Bribe belt. Oh, so he trying to say, that if he asks them a question and they don't answer him, he don't have to bribe them. He'll just whoop them. Oh, okay. That's going to hold up well in court, you dummy. Then he says the prior weekend, the kids shared with me how afraid they were in a hotel being babysit by two college girls because their mom was busy. That's cool. They said the fire alarm went off and they didn't know what to do. My youngest were crying. From there, I asked all the questions. But Peach Cobbler sounds great. Melody Holt, keep talking. Said I was a good dad until we divorced. Being with you didn't make me a good father. Being a good father is just who I am. Okay. You didn't have time for me and the kids while we were married. Same as now, the reason for 24 babysitters. We don't owe each other anything but to be good co parents. Well, somebody had to take care of the family. Somebody was the one doing the willing and the dealing. We all know it wasn't you. So, yes, you should have been at home with the kids while she was out there making a home and a life for you all, sir. Like the delusions of grandeur. Then he says, if our kids are with you all the time, I wouldn't have you in court for allowing over 24 people to watch them. Very scary situation. Somebody let this woman know that other people have facts too. We have whole court coming up that says that you don't have time for the kids except for pictures and videos for social media. Child, please. Then he says, Melody, stop saying you've walked away from all these friends they all walked away from your fake shit every one of them will say the same thing about you fake stop saying you were just sitting back 
you just went on TMZ calling me out my name, but I'm supposed to ignore. I was showcasing a BB and you don't know how to react. I guess a bad bitch. He talking about Sheree. Or maybe he meant bodybuilder. Because <laughs> you can't tell me. Sheree and Martell ain't in the same weight class <laughs> when it come to lifting. That bitch know how to power lift, child. Then he says, you keep me in your mouth for a storyline. You have to because no one wanted to film with you. Child, that girl didn't even talk about you last season. You were the one talking about her. But okay, girl. And then he says, and then you're saying I'm delaying our court date. How, Sway? How, who am I? The dang judge? Tracking? You're delusional. I guess you weren't around me then. I mean, when I took pictures of you and our attorney, Dan Crane, text message conversation about hooking up while you were married and he was engaged. While you were in our bed sleep, I guess her phone didn't know about timing out. I bet you remember now that you were around me when I saw your brother had COVID. Fellas, make sure you check names and numbers because Mel had Negro's number saved as her friend girl's name and cousin's name too. Gotta actually read those messages. Y'all stop thinking I did all this crazy-ish. Oh, and none of this is alleged. So Mel, if I'm lying, sue me. These are facts and my witness are already on board all while married. Crazy therapy was for me to attend with my son because you, Mel, messed up my kid's I mean, mess my kids up a little by keeping them away for 56 days while falsely accusing their father of hitting my son 25 times and striking him on the head, causing him to bleed. He told you he bumped his head on the table, shaking my head. You didn't call me to see what happened. You were forced to drop that nonsense in court. That ain't true, but okay. Then he goes on to post this video of Mel. I don't know if this is supposed to be their attorney or... Or remember on that one episode where Mel said that uh, he came up on her at a restaurant and was filming her and all types of shit um, when they was outside arguing. I guess this is the video. And here is the video, child. Yeah, I don't think this was the attorney. I think this was the guy Mel was seeing. He was like, that nigga don't look better than me. He corny, this, this, that, and the third. But my thing is, you look crazy because y'all divorced. Why are you filming her? They were sitting across from each other having dinner. She got a scarf on her head. Like, the fuck? Like, really, Martell? Like, you look like a stalker. You look crazy as hell. Like, that didn't make her look bad. It made you look bad. Wasn't nothing inappropriate going on in that video. So I don't even know what was the point of posting it. But go off, sis. Then he uh, posted, Melody, who was watching our kids for over an hour when you left them in the car unattended while getting your makeup done? Nobody. A lady had to bang on the place of business door to see whose kids they were over an hour. Another reason I want full custody. I would never. You want full custody so you can get child support. But okay, girl. Then he said, somebody send this to Melody Hope. Happy Sunday. The video that I just um, showed you guys. That's the video. That's what he was talking about. Melody Sheree Ho, I don't need to fly bloggers in. People that know our business and facts about us and what we've done are right here in Huntsville. So let me know the date for interviews because Mr. Holt is also prepared. Why are you coming for Marceau when our mutual friend, Alonda, Judy, and Destiny, etc. know you were fucking and sucking other niggas while married to me and I'm not mad at them. Hashtag who gonna check me, boo? Oh my Lord, is he really using charades <laughs> slang? And what grown straight man would say, who going to check me, boo? You really thought that was cute? Goodbye, sir. That was the end. I'm pretty sure that they have posted more as I've been filming, but I'm done for the day. I can't talk about this shit no more. We all know at this point, Martell is a clown. I wish that Melody would not engage, but I do want to be one of the bloggers that uh, go to this live event. So y'all make sure y'all hit up Mel in the comment section in the DM and tell her to include me in the live because I keep it real and I keep it funky. Okay, let me know what y'all think about all this mess down below in the comment section, you guys. Make sure to thumbs up this video, like, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell button. I love y'all, and I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye.